Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Let's see, so it's about 1 o'clock. It is January 4th, Sunday, 1 degree centigrade. I just opened the door, so it might be a little warmer. This one says 35, and this one says 34. So welcome to Sunday. What am I up to? I actually... Uh, did this last night, but I wanted to get the video out on it. So, shoot the video today. Yeah, it's uh, this crap is all melting off. Um, it's basically fall on your butt, slippery. I'd like to be doing donuts in it, but normally when it's like this, it tears tears the grass up too much so we gotta have to get a little more snow before I can uh, be out doing donuts anyway back to the golf cart project right I've been working at trying to get it get a um, decent working place so that uh, I can actually uh, start figuring out what I'm up to and so forth I took quite a bit of time to figure out what the gear ratio was. You can see that piece of tape. And basically, um, given that this thing has a differential, I wasn't sure how that would affect things. So a uh, friend and I very carefully turned the tires, right, both tires at the same time watching each other uh, a half a revolution nice and slow even and all that and for a half a rev revolution see that tape thing it spun around six times which means for a full revolution um, that tape thing will spin around 12 times so basically the gear reduction is 12 to 1 right every time that electric motor went around 12 times the tires went around once so, um, given that information, I then took tape, measured how big a tire is around, right? And this tire, which wasn't completely inflated, was a little over four and a half feet. If it was completely inflated, I figured it'd put on, you know, about another inch. So, I, I made it five feet just to make things kind of go even. So then the calculations start, right? So the top one, golf cart rear end gear reduction 12 to 1. So the electric motor, if you look at the previous videos, it's meant to spit at 2800 RPM. So that means that with the electric motor spinning at 28 RPM, right? The back wheels turn at 233 RPM, right? I just put the 12 into the 2800, and you get 233. Okay. Now, 233 times 60, right? Because we're trying to work our way toward miles per hour, right? So that's 1398 RPH, revolutions per hour. The tire circumference is approximately 5 feet which means it's going 69,900 feet per hour. And if you divide that by 500, 5,280, actually, uh, yeah, 5,280 feet per mile, you end up with about 13 miles per hour. And that's about what these things do, right? No, no debate. They're good for somewhere 12, 13 miles per hour, depending... Once again, if I run this down to four and a half feet, you know, um, or if the tires are worn, they get, you, you know, you can lose almost a half inch, right? So 12, 13 miles per hour is about what a golf cart does. That means if I put your standard, you know, Briggs and Stratton type engine or Predator or any of those others, they're meant to turn about 3,600 RPM 3600 I don't know what is that about 20% more right uh, 
a little more than that, 30% more. 30% more would get you approximately another four or five miles per hour. So this thing would go just under 10 miles per hour if it was direct drive, no transmission, just a centrifugal clutch hooked directly to that. Um, if you're trying to pull a cart or anything, right, that's gear ratio is a little tall unless you got a really big motor that that gear ratio is just a little bit tall it's also a little tall from a control point of view so hence the reason why I want to want a transmission on it I'd also like reverse so uh, still doing a little more tinkering and thinking and and all that other kind of stuff you guys could also see the um, bar here the seat you know the backrest to the seat just in case somebody rear ends you so you don't snap your neck <laughs> I'm kidding um, but that stuff is all off so this thing I'm probably gonna take that plastic pan out and then I'll be more or less done stripping this thing out and from there the reconstruction starts but now that I know the gear ratio 12 to 1 now I could start figuring out what size brackets I want and all the other stuff. I also have to fetch one of them transmissions out of these uh, Sears guys in the back. Sorry if the camera's jittery. I'm freezing my towel off even though it's supposedly warming up. I'm not I'm not all that warm. Yeah I gotta you know all these things are so much easier in the win in in when the weather's good, I gotta fetch one of them transmissions out, either from the gray one or or the yardman there. One of those guys gotta donate a transmission for the cause. Um, and from there we could uh, we could go forward. By the by, if anybody wants to be following me with what I'm up to, those transmissions, there's one on eBay. It's been on eBay forever for a hundred bucks ninety nine dollars plus shipping I think he wants twenty bucks to ship it it's coming out of Jersey for me he says if it costs less he'd charge less but anyway call it hundred and twenty bucks if you want one of those transmissions um, these golf carts if once again if you're trying to follow me you can find them without batteries in them in this kind of condition sometimes you can get them for nothing on craigslist with the batteries in them you're going to ha probably have to pay a couple hundred bucks anyway then what you could do you scrap out the batteries you scrap out the electric motor minus the armature and the caps and all you scrap out the guts from the electric motor you could get a bunch of that um if you go a couple hundred bucks you could get a bunch of it back now you're looking at some kind of clutch. You're looking at a Predator motor if you decide to use one of those. You're looking at a hundred bucks worth of transmission. So um, theoretically, one could come up with this yard rig for probably somewhere around 500 bucks. So anyway, just something. If you can put together a little UTV to beat around the yard for 500 bucks, that's a pretty good deal, right? Especially if you do it yourself and you know what's in it. And you have a brand new motor. The transmission is more than the cart would ever use, so that should last forever. The rear end, assuming you don't beat on it too much, that should hold up a long time. So you got yourself a nice little project, right? Okay, folks, thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down. Keep your head up. Oh, by the way, you also shoveled all the snow. And uh, remember to enjoy all your days, right? You want to make sure you have plenty of fun, so enjoy your days. Bye now.